Hello Sagittarius, this is your January 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals, so please keep that in mind. But this is a reading, full Celtic cross, for Sagittarius. The energy is coming in for Sagittarius, January 2019. We'll see what the beginning energies are. I do shuffle these prior. And I concentrate on your sign. I concentrate on each and every sign before I do the reading. And shuffle at the same time. I call on a higher power. But this is the incoming energy for you. Ooh. Seven of the Cups. You may have a lot of options out there. They're kind of confusing. You may not be so sure of them. But the Seven of Cups. You see I'm using a different deck. It's a Morgan Greer. I've heard it's very, very uh, accurate. And I wanted to test them out. But uh, the foundation, you are dealing with the devil in the upright. The devil in the upright could be obsessions, sometimes feeling stuck, feeling bound or chained to a certain situation. If it's obsessive behaviors, it could have to do also with addictions with obsessive behaviors. It can be addiction to anything, people, alcohol, drugs mindsets, all those. But it's all, like I said, it's feeling chained, bound. What is crossing it? Ten of Pentacles, fulfillment, security. You're feeling bound to a situation What has to do with your finances, possibly your overall security in life. Goal, you're trying to collaborate and work something out. Sagittarius, you're trying to work something out. Foundation, there was an argument. With the Five of Swords, with the Five of Swords, there's always a winner and a loser. With the Five of uh, Wands, they're usually battling out together. But this one has a winner or a loser, so there was a fight, an argument. Sometimes it gets a little physical if you're not careful. In the past, feeling really stabbed in the back and betrayed. Hmm, Ten of Swords. My goodness. Near future, Seven of Swords. You may be feeling like somebody's taken something from you. So if you don't want that, you may want to keep an eye on that. You may feel like someone has, you know, deceived you and took off with something in the near future. So like I said, keep an eye on that. I keep all the cards in here. I do not take cards out. As you can see, the Devil and the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords is all in here. I like to give a truthful and honest reading. It's not for likes and subscribes. It's for honesty and trying to help people. But I got the Devil there as the energy, as a subject at hand. And I told you what it was about. With the Ten of Pentacles crossing it, your security, your life security. Why are you there, the devil, with the Ten of Pentacles crossing it for Sagittarius? Give and take. You're trying to do some give and take here. You're almost desperate for it, or somebody's trying to do this with you. Can I get another card for the devil? Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Why are you there? Feeling bound and trapped, trying to give some give and take, trying to regain something in your life. And it's all, almost making you sick in a way. You're feeling trapped with the Eight of Swords. You feel like you can't get out. But what is also attached with the Eight of Swords is the universe letting you know there is a way out. Your goal is the Three of Pentacles. It's collaboration. It's trying to work things out with possibly more than two people. You know, it involves like three people and more. But it's three of pentacles as the goal. What crowns Sagittarius? Could have to do with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles can be an earth sign or someone acting like an earth sign, you know, taking on that energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
So you may be trying to collaborate with someone who has this energy or is acting like them. They do not feel things are very secure right now and they don't trust situations right now or you just don't trust them. Three of Pentacles, oops, trying to come out and we'll let it out. And again, it has to do with the Ten of Pentacles, your finances, your security, your overall outcome security. Foundation, Five of Swords, there was an argument and a pretty heated one. Five of Swords as the foundation. Why are you there? The moon. Mm, something of a secret. Someone got angry from things hidden. Can I get another card? Because that's the moon, as you know. With the Five of Swords. Why are you there? Sagittarius. Yeah, there was no, no one's offering them the olive branch. They don't feel like making up with them just yet. They don't feel like... It's like with the Ace of Wands, actually. The Ace of Wands in reverse. When someone, it's in, it's in reverse, like someone's not willing to offer either party. There, there, there's still some anger issues going on here. And someone is still not happy with a situation that occurred that maybe something, like I said, came out. In the past, you're feeling betrayal. Ten of Swords. Remember, this can go either way. This could be your partner feeling these things. But I'm reading this for Sagittarius. But Ten of Swords in the past. Why are you there for Sagittarius? Justice. Wanting justice from betrayal, possibly. You were seeking justice. Someone was seeking justice with you. Sometimes it's just really a harsh energy. And because I'm dealing with so many Sagittarius, some of you may have felt betrayed and others may have betrayed others. Can I get another card with the Ten of Swords and the Justice card? Yeah, they felt stabbed in the back over something. They were happy at one time. They thought they were happy and, and they were finally getting their justice. And what happened? Stabbed in the back. Mm, that's a terrible card, that Ten of Swords. Near future, Ten of Swords. You may find out more information with whatever... Betrayal happened, information is found out, someone is trying to sneak something away, but they usually, if someone's trying to get away with something, it's not hidden, they just think it is. Like people are watching them do this, whether you're doing it or somebody else, something definitely is underhand going on, and someone may be trying to move away. Ooh. Okay, for a few of you, someone may be trying to sneak off from a negative situation and move on without telling anybody. For others, you may be trying to move on from when, when someone tries to take something from you. They may actually move for some of you. Yeah, you're going to hear about something. Some of the behavior or something that occurred with the Page of Pentacles can be a messenger about money and finances. It can be sometimes an actual earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or some taking that energy. But, you know, I can see it as somebody is trying to give a message, <clears throat> bring a message. And you may hear something about a behavior that was kind of in a way sneaky or, or underhanded or kept hidden, I should say, trying to be kept hidden. But it does come out and you hear about it. And either somebody will move on, or you will move on from these troubled waters. I don't know what it is. You can leave it in the comments. Like I said, you could be doing this, or someone could be doing this to you. Possible outcome or future advice. If it's the advice, the universe is telling you to move on quickly. Or you will actually move on with the chariot. It's moving, it's, it's movement. So as long as it's not stagnant, it's, good, it's a good card. So the chariot is in the upright. It is not a stagnant card. It's energy and it's movement. Moving on, moving forward. Could be traveling for some of you. Can I get another card for the chariot? For Sagittarius. Working hard, moving on with the Eight of Pentacles. Universe says work hard, move on. It could be the outcome of you want it to be and, and gain, gain balance and gain finances back in the future. 
who is coming towards you, the outside environment. Someone may be blocking, not seeing things for how they are that's around you, the Two of Swords. And also, for very few people, someone tries to make peace, but I don't think so just yet. But I might be wrong. Let me get another card. Two of Swords, why are you there? For Sagittarius, what's coming towards them in the outside environment? Ah, someone may be trying to make peace. For a few of you, someone will be trying to make peace. Others, someone will probably block your calls, or you will block their calls. It goes both ways. I know cards can be a little confusing, but that's what's surrounding it so far, is communications and the Two of Swords. Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. Why are you there? For Sagittarius. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Could have to do with someone who's feeling really emotional. They're not upright. Maybe they're wanting to come towards you. Or maybe they just, I don't know, communications is off with them. And it could be that someone's just not seeing things for how they are. Again, like I said, with the Two of Swords, it's putting up your swords. It has to do with communications are off. <clears throat> but they're there. And Queen of Cups, that could be a water sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. As I'm reading for the masses, I do not pinpoint one element. Someone who's in the upright with an emotional energy. I do see some blockages here big time. But I also see that communications are trying to occur, but it, 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 something's getting in the way. Hopes and fears for Sagittarius. Either you're hoping for someone in the past or fearing someone in the past. It's a Six of Cups. Could be that you're hoping. No. I think you may be fearing it, some of you. That there won't possibly be a new beginning. Or, they, or whoever's watching this it may be hoping for a new beginning that, that hasn't been happening. Yeah. Ace of Swords. Someone from the past and something about a new beginning may not happen and maybe that's what you're fearing or whoever someone else may be fearing this with you. Ace of Cups, final outcome, great card. Passionate, or not passionate, emotional new offer. Someone offering a cup to you, a cup of love, friendship, kindness. Ace of Cups, why are you there? It's a great card for ending. Could have to do why they're offering it, or who's involved, I should say, is the King of Cups. Again, a water-type energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person, you may be trying to offer them something, or they may be trying to offer you something, but they're, feel, they're feeling very distraught feeling very emotional right now and they may try to offer you something or you may try to offer them something like I said and I get another card you know a new beginning of some sort and I get a new card the ace of cups and the king of cups it's in reverse yeah there's a new offer coming there's still a little like friction there there always is I mean this is life in general no it's not all you know rainbows and gumdrops for sure there's always a bit of a mix. I see some hardship, obsession, stabbed in the back, fighting. There were emotions, finances, what justice you thought was due. You may have found something sneaky. Someone may try to move because of it. But also messages are trying to come through. Someone may try to, you know, a few of you may try to walk away from something. Like I said, whether you're doing it or they're doing it, someone's trying to walk away. Or get past the sneaky behavior, I should say. But in the very end, it looks very good. Because there is a, 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 a offer of kindness, like I said, of love. An ace of pentacles of security. And that is the best ace as far as I'm concerned because it's long-lasting. Someone wants something long-lasting with you or you're wanting it with them. Remember, we have the chariot, the vice saying to move forward. Work hard with it so you can gain again. And some of you, I hate to say, you know, if you don't want this, 
You don't have to take take this energy, but this looks like the Hierophant, and that is ceremonies. Some of you, a few of you, not all of you, just very few of you, may get into a contract relationship with somebody, even a marriage. Or bound yourself to somebody that's offering whatever they're offering, a few of you. Or you, it's going to be long-lasting and accept it in society. So that is your reading. I'm getting good readings for a change for a lot of you. It's going to be a great new year. You see me putting this out. I don't hide the negatives. I put them in there too. It's a great card set. You know, great spread, Sagittarius. I'm happy for people for January. I see some of this going on past January because we got a lot of pentacles here, which is it's a slow energy, but it's stable and secure usually. And that's they're great cards. So I'm going to let you go, and that is your reading, and have a happy new year, okay? Bye.